Yo. All right. Let's do the thing. I'm going to start with trying to wrap up my challenges, I think. And get that badass outfit for John. Live seat, please. So, let's go... Work on breaking in my horse. So, I can go pick herbs. Hello. But I think... Hello. Yo, Blue. What's up? How's it going? My horse is just like walking through. Come on. Hang out by the meat. Alright. Gotta run out in the wilderness and then fast travel to... Van Horn. How are you doing, Blue? What is going on? Have you thought any more about... My question I asked earlier about a... A 420 redeem. I think one of the like anti commercials is a really funny idea. But I also, I would also be down. I just I'm trying to find like a something else appropriate, but I just can't think of anything. I'm just gonna run there because I need time. T H Y M E. I'm gonna run like halfway there if I try to find some time in the fields. <laughs> Ads in about a minute. No worries. Not gonna miss anything, I'm just traveling on horse through a meadow. <laughs> no worries, I appreciate your input. I think I think that's a good idea. And I will uh, I will see how available it is to find one of those old like clips from like it's like an ABC commercial or some shit. Raspberries. Oh, I'm sure. I saw the one. I'm thinking I'm like I was I was looking through like there's like Harold and Kumar and stuff and there's like I know there's a scene in that movie that where they're watching some commercial and it's like some kid gets so high he shoots himself and I'm like I'm not going that far. But I remember that one with the couch. Where it was like the girl was so stoned she turned into a couch. <laughs> Must have been Indica. After these messages, we'll be right back. Yep. I definitely, uh, I remember. I was like a really, really heavy stoner for a long time, and I remember um, it, would, it would take a lot to really just like nail me to the couch like that, but every once in a while it was just like, what the hell? I, I'm just like, I can't even move. And it seemed to always happen when I was at some kind of social, like it was like some kind of social thing happening too, so it was like compounding my anxiety at the same time. Join, please. This rain just... Wow, what a storm. Kills the shit out of my frame right now. Where y'all keep the time at?
up your leash. Balls. Balls. Carrot. I'm looking for time just so I have some more dead eye um dead eye food, but I'm not finding any. Parasol, mushroom. Did I get those? My herbalism challenge is to fetch pick one of it everything. I think I've the got economy is oh, <laughs> oh no. Um stream was good. I finished the um finished chapter six and I got uh enough into the epilogue that I'm like back into free roam with John. It's good stuff. That looks like time. Yeah. So I'm starting off by wrapping up my challenges so that I can go get that like really badass outfit for John from the trapper. And then I will go back to missions and stuff. I'm sitting at uh, 88 percent, I think. Yeah. So I've got some missions left, two gang hideouts, and then collectibles. I've got two legendary fish left. The hunting request I have done. I'm just waiting for like the lady to mail me a letter back, I think. And then um, if I once I beat the challenges, I will also max out this. So I'm getting real close. So I'm going to work on the challenges first and foremost. Just get them out of the way. I want a little... I'm running a little bit. I need to go to Van Horn and run all the way to Black... and ride all the way to Blackwater without touching water. Which I know the route. I just have to do it. I tried to do it on Arthur and I got like... I got like within sight of Blackwater and then I got gunned down by... like a shitload of lawmen. Huh. Cleared up real quick there. And then one of the things that's trouble is I need a silver chain bracelet, which you can normally find by robbing houses and stuff, but I just didn't get lucky. The economy oh, is so I'm gonna have to like... What's up, Cujo? So I'm gonna have to like go rob some trains until I find one to get one of the, the trinkets. Is a sham but that's fun too. The economy is a sham. That might be a little bit of save scum. That's gonna be an off off stream pursuit, I believe, because it's gonna be like save. The economy is a sham. Save in like Ansburg and get on the train. The economy is a sham. Rob all the women on the train. Hope I get it. If I don't, load. Repeat. The economy is in shambles. The economy is in shambles, you guys. Did you know that? The economy is in shambles. It's a funny redeem because I want it to be spammed, but I also don't know that I want it to be so spammy. So I'm like, maybe it needs like... The economy is... Oh. I don't know. Sometimes it like cuts itself off. It's funny. The economy is in shambles. Mushrooms, currants. I just want a little bit more time. Both the herbal variety and the temporal variety.
wish I wish I could just buy it. No? Alright. I'm like almost all the way there anyway. I still still fast travel. Van Horn. All right, let's do it. thinking about redoing my overlay so that my camera is like off to the side and sw switching it to like uh, vertical but I don't know that is uh, totally neither here nor there so I'm certainly not gonna do it now okay so I want to go here. I wish I could add multiple waypoints. Go here, and then I want to go from there. I want to go over to train tracks and take those. To the oil fields, and then south here and then down through here across the bridge here and over all right let's fortify the old horsey And by fortify the horse, I mean sit on my horse and drink gin, apparently. Van Horn. What a mess Van Horn is. And I got plenty of horse stimulant. Gonna be a cracked out horsey by the time we get there. But it'll give me a chance to uh, improve my bonding with this horse as well. Since I just bought it. There are more glamorous horses, but I like the Arabians. They're just fast. They're a little skittish. But I don't care. I don't care. One of the... Uh, challenges after this challenge the next horseman challenge is what the to catch one of each type of wild horse and I've never done that one okay now I want to go to <clears throat> here Okay, catch. Just riding a horse, doing it. I'm riding a horse. Going past this army camp up here, and they're gonna heckle me. Hey What's up, Ged Station? Hey, hey Crispers. Hello, man. How's it going? 
what is going on? Sorry, stranger. I can't help you. I'm doing a horsey challenge. This road is a little wet, but I think I just... It's not going to damage the challenge. I think I just can't cross any streams. Sega! Sega! How you doing, Crispers? Ah, well then. Well, I appreciate you coming here when you're in the middle. In the middle of the night, in the middle of the wee hours of the morning. Usually when I am up at 4 a.m. it's because I'm still up. Well, you know, I used to say that, but these days I'm up at 4 a.m. because my child wakes me up. <laughs> um, do I want to cut down? No, I want to keep going across the train tracks to... about here. Oil fields. <clears throat> What's up, Midge? I am, right now I'm working on the last two of my, I have two challenges left, or two challenge categories left to finish, so I'm working on those. I'm working on the horse, um, horseman challenge, and then I also have the last of the herbalism herbalist or whatever they're called challenges so um trying to wrap those up i'm done with i'm in the epilogue now so there's not a, there's still a bunch of missions left hold on someone's texting me My wife says, my oldest asked tonight who I love more, him or his brother. She wow. said she loved them both the same, and he's like, oh, like he never heard, never even considered it. <laughs> Funny. Which, um, which witcher are you playing? Which witch? Which witch watches which watch? Ooh, I think I might have just invalidated it by crossing over through here. Shit, I was supposed to say on the tracks. Should I start over now, or should I... I don't know. I guess we'll just go. We need to pick herbs down in New Austin anyway, so... We'll just go and see how it goes. Horse the cocaine, not you. Don't let it get to you. Um, have you played three? I um I played three first, all the way through. I've I've done like 100% on Witcher three like twice now. Um, it was like easily my favorite game ever. Until Elden Ring, and then that took the that took the throne. Um, I went like totally the wrong way. I think I have to start over. Yeah, goddamn it! I'm gonna start over. I botched it by going through the stream.
I done I did three on like easy and then the one above easy. I'd love to do it on like Death March sometime, but it's like I'm not really that good at the game. <clears throat> so then I played one because I was like invested. I knew I knew one was like not popular. And the story in one was great, but the gameplay was just like this far away from completely unplayable. It was so bad. Uh, but I, I stuck through it, and I played it, and then I played Witcher 2, and Witcher 2 was good. It was like they, they got it like most of the way there, and then Witcher 3, they really nailed it. There's still like some weird sh stuff that happens, but um, in general, Witcher 3, there already is a remastered Witcher 1, and it still sucks. They need a re-remaster. But I think the remaster wasn't like a remake, it was just like, they updated the graphics. Because the one I have on Steam is called Witcher, Witcher Remastered or something like that. And that was like five years ago at this point. Okay, let's let's try that again. You dingus. I was not paying enough attention. I was just following the red line on my minimap, and I should not have been. I should have been staying on the tracks. Move it out of the way, dude. Yeah, that'll be way better. I'm stoked for that. Because the story was good. It was like much more classic Witcher. Um, if you've read the books at all, it's like a little bit more. Jeez. I keep getting like stranger missions. I'm like, all right, see you later. Don't worry about me. Weirdos that live here in Butcher Creek. Bunch of like, they all think they're cursed by some demon, but it's just like arsenic in the water. Alright, now I need to go to here. I'm gonna take it real real short with these uh, waypoints. I gotta turn something off real quick. Um, I'm testing out... Yeah, okay. I should have said I should have tested my timer. The economy I think I is within like 17 minutes or something. But it's not real-time minutes, it's like, so when I'm on the map, it doesn't count. Train track is like right here. The economy is I love The Witcher 3. It was my first experience with the whole franchise, so it's like Witcher 3 the is like is oh, the baseline Witcher for me, but I know that and so then when they did the show, I was like this casting is fucking terrible. But that's because I was like expecting all the people to look like they look in the game. I haven't played the new. Well, I, I'm not even familiar with the mods. Economy is a sham. But I haven't played the new um, upscale version. What uh? What are the mods? I'm not. I don't usually do mods generally. But if, is it just, uh... Oh, does it? Witcher 3 HD project? Are you talking about the, like, next-gen update that they just released? Like, whatever, a month ago? Mid-December, I think. Or is this something else? Uh, 
Oh, I didn't realize that. Cool. I have not checked it out. I've been, uh, I've been playing this since, uh, probably, let's see. After my spooky stream stuff in October, I started playing this. Yo! That's a lot. What's up? Pause. Hi. One year. Average underscore Ocelot just awesome. resubscribed with tier one for a total of 12 months. One year. Ooh. The economy is oh, shambles. Oh, I whiffed my uh, concentration super. Yo. Usually play healers, Thank but you're you playing a rogue Welcome for the first raiders. time ever. You've been playing since 2E. Holy crap. Was that from like today? Jeez. Welcome in, everybody. Um, I'm sure most of you are familiar with me already, but if you're not, I'm Flair. I am a variety streamer. I stream mostly open world and RPG games. All right, All right. Ocelot, I'll see you later. Butthole time. <laughs> Butthole time. <laughs> um, and then on Sundays, generally, I do uh, 90s retro kind of games. But I'm doing a big push on my Red Dead 100% playthrough right now. So I'm doing all streams on Red Dead until I finish. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um. <laughs> okay, now I want to cut south. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'm currently doing a challenge where I need to run from Van Horn to Blackwater without touching, without crossing a river, without touching water. Um, it's the Horseman Challenge number nine, and I don't think it matters if it's like a puddle in the road, but I just can't cross streams. And rivers. I sure hope it doesn't matter if it's a puddle in the road. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm at like 88% of 100% playthrough here, and I'm really doing a big push. So all my streams have been Red Dead for about two weeks, and um, I should be done this month because then next month I'm starting Monster Hunter Rise, and I hopefully will be playing with uh i'm going to press ocelot into service and hacksaw and sounds like maybe midge um so that's fun i want to go to i want to go to there i want to go to about here and then get on the tracks again baby look out sir Cool. Yeah, I look forward to playing um, Witcher 3. I was considering doing a Witcher 3 playthrough again after this, but then I bought Monster Hunter Rise, and I was like, no, nope, that's going to be it. And uh, people have been telling me I would like the Monster Hunter series for years, because I've always been kind of a grinder. What are you complaining about, horse? You got... You're like pumped full of steroids. You're good. Don't worry about it. People have been telling me that I would like Monster Hunter. Um, and I've never played any of them. What's up, Regulator? So I'm excited to start that, but, uh, Gotta finish this first. 
And then um, the retro game I'm playing, I'm actually, I generally have been trying to play 90s games on my retro night, but um, I've been making exceptions. What's up, Ninja Leech? Um, oh, you came in with Ocelot, how are you doing? Poke catch. I saw someone that had an extension that would tell them who, um, like, tell them that people came in with, like, when someone would chat, it would say, like, this person came in with this raid. And I wonder what that extension is, because that seems fun. Butt door has been caught by Ninja Leech, Flabutt, and Regulator. Can't go wrong. I, um... Oh, is it? I just don't have it turned on for my own moderation settings, I guess. Cool. I will have to look into that. Twitch has had some pretty good wins. Uh, as much as they get shit on for t some of the decisions they made, some of the stuff they've done lately has been great. Um, but then they just like half-ass it half the time. It's like, um, is there a bridge here? The hunter lays yeah. a trap for his prey. Like, uh, the announce feature oh, no! is cool, but, oh god, a trick. Um, the announcement feature is great, but it doesn't show on mobile it doesn't even send a regular message on mobile so it's like it's supposed to like highlight your chat message but instead it just doesn't show it at all it's like what the fuck <laughs> that's not good that's like a completely useless feature if it doesn't work on mobile at least show a regular message on mobile um i've been trying to promote the user voice ticket for that on the Twitch user voice to get more thumbs up, thumbs ups on it. it. Is it just on Android mobile? That's fair. Whoa! Another raid. PJ. Taking me through strawberry. No. Oh man. Yo. This is a good time. Right when ads run. Super good timing. What's up, PJ? I've heard the whole conversation. I'm sorry for you. Join, please. Like, Hi, Clyde. Me. Oh, yeah. Was it me? We're just talking about hot dogs. Quit. I heard you saying goodnight to someone in your stream earlier. You and you're like, stop. I hope you dream of hot dogs. Uh, <laughs> and I thought that was funny. Uh, sure, hot dog. <laughs> yeah, I have my um my video shout out. I have it tuned so for if you like, I just do a shout out arbitrarily. It'll look for a clip from the last month or so. I was talking about sesame seeds. But for bugs. raids, I I have it so that it looks for one from Let's today. Alright, I'm gonna read And if it doesn't theme. find one, it looks for one in the last two days. And if it doesn't find one, it looks for one in the last four days. And so on and so forth. Um, to find, like, a really recent one for raiders. <clears throat> so I love it when, um, someone raids and a clip shows up from their current stream because that's fun um okay so i need to go up here and then to the dam i'm currently doing i'm working on a 100 percent in-game 100 percent run of red dead here i'm at about 88 percent out of 100 I'm wrapping up my last of my, um, there's these challenges here. I've got two categories left, and I'm like, whoa, 
don't stop. The one I'm doing right now is to run all the way across the map from Van Horn to Blackwater without touching water. The economy is in shambles. Oh no. Why? What? It's just a... It's just a black bear or something. It's... It's not hostile. Is it a black bear? Is it a cougar? Am I about to get killed? Nope. Just a black bear. Chill out. Yeah, me too. Um, I will catch up in a minute. Um, I like can't stop, or else the challenge fails. Oh shit! Well, that tears it. Son of a gun! You ruined my challenge, you bastards! Son of a gun. That sucks. <sighs> okay, start over. This challenge is terrible. I need better um, dead eye food. I need to just cook some meat. Man, I was like... 75% of the way there. Bastards. Alright, no worries. Have a good night. You go sleep, do what you gotta do. Thank you for the raid, I appreciate it. Could you seriously just drink the rest of our water? I will drink what I've got. It's not water, but it's hydrating. Hydrating. I don't think so. Um, I don't think I can stop at all. And maybe I just can't get off the horse, but let me look. I certainly can't get off. Um, that could be taken out of context. Uh, 17 minutes without touching water, without getting off your horse or falling off of it. Oh, uh, you know what? I could have just... Shit. Should be easy this route, but it's unlikely that you will complete it without passing at least one hostile gang encounter, so prepare for combat. I just can't get off the horse. Shit. I could have kept going. Well, now I know. And I know the route really well now, so that's fine. Plus, I am trying to... Um, what is it called? I'm trying to increase my bonding level with this new horse, so whatever. If you can get off while striding a horse, fair play to you. I mean, probably could. <laughs> given, given some scenarios, I don't know. It's like the unicorn in Witcher. Let's see, game bird. I need some more meat. Oh well. Yeah. Uh, fast travel. What camp is this? Funny. <laughs> Let me, um, my chat window is like way too small. Hold on. Um, okay. Android mobile, you can't pin, hide, can't hide pinned messages. Yeah. There's definitely issues. It seems, I mean, the, the, um, iPhone mobile isn't super great either. So it's, it's kind of like, Sega! Sega!
It's uh, six of one, half a dozen out of the other kind of scenario. Get a chat prompt. Would you rather always be 10 minutes late or always be 10, 20 minutes early? I would rather always be 20 minutes early. Ah! Oh. I, um, I hate being late. It happens a lot now that I have kids. Um, but yeah, I'm, I've always been like a, I'll just go away early and then you know, it's one, it depends on the context though, like, if you're going to like, uh, someone's dinner party or whatever, sometimes early is like, inconvenient. For the host. But, generally, I prefer early. Alright, let's do this properly this time. And if I get ambushed, I just have to, like, stay on my horse and fight. Or stay on my horse and run the F away. Speaking of horse. Let's have a carrot. There's a carrot, horsey. We're gonna do it this time. Third time's a charm. Yeah, for sure. When I was younger and would go to parties all the time, I would show up, I would show up like right when it was meant to start, and then I was always an early leaver too, but I was a big, this is a, uh, I was a big fan of what we called the Irish exit. I don't think that's offensive to actual Irish people, but, uh, for me it was like just leaving without saying anything, just like just dip. I know what that butts. Like. That was my, uh. Introversion. Because otherwise it's like, oh, I'm gonna go go around the whole place and say goodbye to all of my friends and. Nah, I'm just gonna dip. They know I love them. I know what that butts. I remember I threw a big birthday party, or my girlfriend at the time threw a big birthday party for me one year. And I just like, at one point, I Irish exited my own birthday party. I just like, I was toasted. And I was done with like dealing with people. <laughs> and I just went to bed. didn't say anything, I just went to bed. <laughs> I didn't like pass out, I just like... Went and like watched a movie in my room. <laughs> okay, get all the way to the oil fields and then we go down the roads. the next one while we're on would you rather never be able to go out during the day or never be able to go out at night um I'd rather never be able to go out at night not that I prefer going out in the day but it would just like you got to go to stores and stuff sometimes sometimes you just got to go to a store or take kids to school and stuff like if I wasn't able to do that my answer would be different 10 years ago <laughs> I'd rather never be able to go out period
Ten years ago, I would have said, who goes out in a day anyway? But, you get delivery and all that stuff, you can make it work. But, as much as, just be really inconvenient. I had a couple periods where I was fully nocturnal, working third shift or just being like a contractor that set my own hours and I would work from... It was a while I lived with two people that were both uh, servers, so they would stay... They would work from like... Whatever, wow. they'd get, get home from work at like 1 a.m. and then we'd party. And... I was working just remote at the time and I didn't have any meetings or th anything ever so it was just like we became like super nocturnal I would sleep until 1 or 2 p.m. and get up and then work for five or six hours and then hang out and then eventually my roommates would come home from the restaurant And we'd like go, oh shit, play pool and stuff. Is this right? I'm like confusing myself. Yeah, I want to go down to. Yeah. I wonder if my link tree still has a hover link. I think I took it off. That app was funny. It was like really good for about a month. And then it was really weird for about five months and then it just died completely. It was a good idea, but it was run by people who made bad decisions. <clears throat> okay, get on the tracks. And just go. I said I don't really need to get on the tracks. It's probably safer to tow the trains. Nice horse you got there. Relax. Shut up, baby. I know it. Going there and then, okay. All right, come on. Big money, big money, no whammies. One of my attempts on this, I remember, it was like, I got to about here and then the train was coming, and I was like, Ugh. I am doing that with, uh, StreamerBot is doing that for me. Um, I have triggers that it goes when um, stream starts and stream stops, and I have a number of things that happen 
Um, I'm one of my next um, videos is gonna be about. I need to. I need to um, now that Discord webhooks are natively supported in Streamerbot. I want to move my Discord go live notification to Streamerbot um, instead of I'm using like Me Six or whatever right now. Um, and I'd like to do it natively with Dreamerbot so I can control it completely. <laughs> and so to here. Um, so maybe I should like combo that with also talking about how I do the Twitter thing. I just copied that from a the streamer bot extension. Someone, someone else's Twitter post to Twitter, or I think I, I changed my profile image and I changed the name. Profile image changes to my like hype emote, and instead of my heart one, and it changes the name. You could also like post to Twitter, but I don't. I don't generally post go lives to Twitter. I'm not sure why. I think just the the subtle thing is better. I will often post something that like I'm going to be streaming this evening and I'm going to be doing this or that, but I don't usually do like a I'm live now post on Twitter. And I'm not sure whether or not I whether or not I should. Yeah, that's another one that's on my list is a screenshot of a particular scene or source and then saving it right to, to um saving it right to Discord. The Discord thing is really easy. Um, the Twitter one is just like someone's custom. It's like C sharp code that does the like the post to the Twitter API. It's pretty straightforward generally, but um, you need to you need to do it inside C sharp code. So I think the best way for me to like. I, th I think since it's someone else's code, it would be fine for me to like highlight it as part of a video, but I don't want to make a video entirely about someone else's feature, you know? So I didn't write it, I just kind of modified it. But if I could combine those two together, it'd be like, and it would be a video about triggering things on stream start and end rather than about posting to Discord or posting to Twitter. That, that would work. Because I also do, um... I want to switch to using the shield mode thing, because I have, like, an old, like, panic button and relax button kind of thing that does basically all the stuff that they implemented with shield mode. Where it, like... It puts... Puts up sub only chat and slow mode and whatever when I go offline so that I can't get like hate rated while I'm offline. Wow. But I would like to convert to just using shield mode for that as well. I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, here we go. Do you, um, do you use Seribot?
and this area bot is great for follow bot stuff. Um, I haven't had the pleasure of actually having a follow follow bot attack. I've, um, apart from the hoss bots, um, back in the day. What was that about a year ago the hotspot stuff was happening? Um, I actually started writing my own anti follow bot bot um directly in node, but um then I discovered Saribot and I was like, No. This guy's got like a year plus head start on me and his bot is like super elegant. And so I will just promote that guy's bot instead of trying to write my own. Between Saribot and Commander Root, there's like... That's all your solution. And now Twitch is starting to adapt some of that stuff directly. Which is just how it works with big companies. They gotta be reactive more than they can really plan ahead. It's one of those things where you just go to the page and say join or something. You go into the channel and type a command. And then there's some options. That's quite a hill. Alright, we're gonna get some hostile action again one of these one of these moments. Horse is doing good. Let's have a carrot. Next to Butt's bot, Sari Bot is my favorite. Third party bot. What do we got now? Wolves. Easy. Where'd you go? Just go. Yeah, my, um, I feel you there. My to-do list is immense, and some of the things on it are substantial. Especially now that I, well, since I started doing videos, it's also, I have, like, I have, like, a stream stuff to do, and a videos to make, and a video upgrade setup, video setup upgrade stuff. I just bought, like, a... I bought a teleprompter, a really, really cheap one. And, uh, have to set it up. Hello. What's up? How's it going, Salty Amanda? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> There's a Pokemon. Polyworld. Poke catch. You can put your gun down, John. There you go. Oh, got dark in a hurry there. Dead horse, that's not a great sign. I think we did it.
And then the next one, the next challenge after this is to catch one of each type of wild horse, I believe. Uh, does that guy have no head? That's not great. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see that. Keep riding the black blackwater. I bet if I had gone the other way, I would have been ambushed by those um, butchers, whatever those they're called. I can't right now, buddy. I'm doing a thing. Ads coming in about two minutes. Yes. Horseman nine. All right. Okay. Go to the post office. And then, uh... Probably start working on that one. Break every wild horse breed. So that probably means I gotta go catch the white Arabian again. Start with that. Um, yeah, so, well, the highlight was just showing how to leverage the ad ads event in, uh, Streamerbot. This one just adds, Hello. What's it, it adds the two minute warning, um, basically just by working backwards. So I have my, and I also go through how I have my ad management settings set up inside of Twitch. But basically I run ads every 30 minutes. So on the ad run event. I set a 27 and a half minute delay after I do what I do. And then um, at once that delay is up, I put up my ads coming soon element that's like down, down there, all the way in the bottom. And um, the message that says ads in two minutes, it's like two minutes and 15 seconds sometimes two minutes and 20 seconds sometimes it's like the ad window is a little bit wiggly After these messages, we'll be right back. join please <clears throat> all right what do i got this is the wildlife thing okay does that finish that quest entirely? Invitation from Miss Hobbs. I'm delight, delighted, absolutely delighted at the lovely friends you have sent me. Together we have made art. Life is art. Strive to make happiness frozen in time. You've surely made me happy. Just northeast of Strawberry. Captain Katz42 just resubscribed with How's tier one for a total of six months. What is up? I can finish off that too. That would be great. Oh, I know where that house is. Nice. So long. All right, that's easy enough. I don't think I want to do this one yet. Next, there's a Sadie mission I want to do first. This is like the banker that I'm supposed to talk to. I'm not doing that quite yet. Um, I need to get all the herbs here or down in New Austin. I could do that. Herbs. 
that's a little bit more of like a grindy off stream thing. So I'm going to, um, I'll probably do the herbs and the, uh, breaking all the horse breeds off stream. But there is legendary fishing and legendary hunting in New Austin now. Oh, I'm sorry, your internet cut out. That sucks. Hope it's working well now. Epilogue. Okay. Story stuff and epilogue. Break the horses. Gang how to hide out. Oh, let's go shoot up Thieves Landing. It's like down here-ish. I gotta visit this dude too. Yeah, I um... I liked the Witcher series. I watched the I only watched the first season so far. Um I it, my initial reaction was that I hate the casting across the board. Um but that's just cuz of my expectations were set by the games. And they cast more based on the descriptions in the books and their own personal choices and stuff. So it was more of a mismanaged expectations thing than really any problem with the casting. Because I ended up really liking Yennefer the, and um, stuff like that. But... Oh, I'm just talking about the casting itself. But yeah, that... It's... It's... um, That's kind of a lo how a lot of... Uh, series and movies have been doing it these days. It's like, um... What led to him being called a toxic gamer? The stray from the novels? Yeah. I think the Yennefer in the game is hotter than the woman they cast from but that's because it's a game and they can make her as hot as they want. Alright. Time to kill people in New Austin. One show that I really liked how they did it was The Magicians. So those are the, some of, that's one of my favorite book series. And they were like, they started off very similar to the way the books went. And then they just like, instead of like branching off the storyline, they just like completely diverted and made their own stories in the universe, basically. The first season kind of followed the first book, and there's like, it like, it dips in and out of the book storylines, but they also do stuff that was just, had nothing to do with what they did in the book. Oh, that whole show is super traumatic, and they're like, I love that series though. It's like, if, uh... Get out of here. No? I hear you. My gun just fires. I don't, I'm like not pressing a fire button. I think the way I'm holding my controller, sometimes I accidentally like tweak the R2 button.
Just come on out. This is like the easiest hideout. They're just like stuck in there and I can shoot at them. Oh, I see you. Yeah, especially the way that they handled the uh, the hedge witch stuff was like so heavy in the show compared to the books. In the books, it was like it wasn't it wasn't nearly as heavy. Um, same guy wrote another book called Codex, which was oh shit, get out of my way, you horse! I'm gonna use you as cover. There's a book called Codex that was like really cool. It was about like um, this game that ended up being like real life. It was, I don't know, it's really hard to explain, but it was really good. And then at the same time, like a bunch of library nerd stuff. few new holes in you. <laughs> Alright, have a good one. You piece of shit. Poke catch. I hear ya, but where are ya? everywhere. You'll die here. You'll die here. I don't think I will. I will drink gin in your yard, though. Fan to stick on the other no. side of my cooler so that I can have 
What's up, Rev? Um, How's it going? Blowing and a fan sucking, and I've got the fan blowing right now. But we finished sucking. chapter six, um, which is the main part of the game. I'm in the epilogue now, so depending on your definition, yes. I am at about eighty-eight percent complete. I need to just got like a bunch of random stuff to do and then a bun bunch of stories too. Bunch of stories, story missions. Um, after. I'm clearing out a gang hideout right now. Very slowly. But I also like to loot. I need a silver chain bracelet. And you can sometimes get them on these guys, but I probably will be. More likely to get it robbing a train. And that's for one of the talismans. It's for the bear claw one from the legendary bear that I fought like ages ago. And I just never found one of those bracelets. And there's a couple particular houses in the game that are supposed to have one in there if you go rob the house. And neither of them did in my case. So people are like, just go rob trains. And specifically, oh shit. I see. No, sir. I mean, I'm busy looting. Leave me alone. Did that guy have dynamite out? He must have. Could have been pretty bad. Get up. I'm trying to loot over here, buddy. Stop shooting at me. Look at that. You're all dead. Was that it? Let's see. <laughs> that was silly. I do actually have a TikTok, but uh, mostly just post clips. Same clips I post on, like, uh, Instagram or whatever. But the one you posted was funny. The, uh, adding fart sounds to, um, thirst traps is a hilarious idea. Nice one, John. This guy blew himself apart. Poor bastard. Ooh. Purchases. I don't need any of this shit. Look for jewelry. Cash. Biscuits, apparently. Bullets are fine. Billfold. I hate that you can't break down some of the doors. Pelican, is that one right there? Yeah. Gotta get my varmint rifle out though. 
Come here, horsey. Just on the other side of this fence. Actually, it doesn't matter. Scratch that. Scratch that. face with a rifle. I don't need its head meat. I need the exotic meat for like... Oh, good one. John can't fucking swim. <laughs> and I've died. Increment deaths. Smooth. Real smooth. Let's see if the hideout clear counts. <laughs> Way to go, John. Progress. Yep, I'm at 89, so that must have counted. Gang hideouts, 5 or 6. Cool. Stillwater Creek. It's a weird place to put me. I think there's a legendary fish here. Not exactly sure where. Nearby. Wait. I see horses. I'm not going to avoid catching wild horses. But I'm not going to go all after that challenge on stream. But if there's a horse... What do I got? Mustang. Now let's have a look at you. You're okay. You're okay. What's up, Drew? It's okay, horsey. It's all good. I'm just catching this Mustang. Cut you. Yeah. It's okay. I'm okay. You're okay, horse. You're okay. Looks pretty terrified. All right. Now. Yeah, I know. 
And a bridle shows up out of nowhere. Like magic. Alright, see you later, horse. Legendary pickerel, you say? Sounds like Lake Lure. I've got two legendary fish left. That'll complete a challenge as well. Easy. Can't put you back. Good job, John. Okay. There's one more largemouth bass southeast of Lake Don Julio. I don't know. I don't know where that is. Let's go west. Oh, snake. What the hell? Okay. Sorry, dude. I'm going to shoot you down. I'm not getting my gun out for you, man. I guess I should look for new Austin herbs while I'm down out here, too. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Uh, black current is one of them. Black current and um, probably February on Mondays. Um, and then I'll be back to, um, return to Monkey Island on Sundays and then retro games. I'm counting that one as a retro game because it is a continuation of the franchise that I started playing in the 90s, so even though that one's modern. It's a throwback to a game from 1990. So I, I count it. Oh, don't shoot. I'll be continuing where I left off on Return to Monkey Island. Yeah, I only played two streams of it, so I'm like pretty early in the game. I'm in like chapter three. I think one of them I actually had a bad something was going weird with my stream and I had to oh I was dropping frames like a bastard so it was like unwatchable when I went through the VOD so I like I deleted the VOD huh there's a new herb Ultra Cherish Ball, is that? Yeah, the first episode was good, I think. Yeah, it was just the one. I had a stream where it was like, I was just dropping frames for no reason. Let me look at where this bass is. Um, 
Um, Let's see. What is going on? What? Yep. Oh, I'm like, the video guide has audio. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> I'm just looking at it on my app. Stop. Mute. There we go. Um, legendary large mouth bass, small mouth, long nose, bull head. There we go. Oh, I'm like still in the heartland, so I need to go like way, way to hell south. I'm doing good. How are you, Drew? You have a carrot. What is my bonding level on this horse? Oh, this is the that Mustang. Shit. My other horse is like. Fuck. Well. Oh crap. Damn. Son of a gun. I'm on the wrong horse. stop for time. Join, please. like mint or is it a yep yeah, or oregano who wins okay there i went it wasn't me hey, good girl now. it goes blue could you win crispers wins can I call my horse? From how far away? <laughs> True. What do we got here? Wild carrot. Still out of range. Still trying to keep an eye out for new herbs, but 
It's mostly just wild carrots and stuff here. I don't need that shit. I don't know what the, I know there's black current, I know there's Yeah. I forget what the new Austin herbs are. There's probably a mushroom type that I haven't gotten. You gonna come now, horse? Go on, girl. Okay. All righty. Okay. Here. Gonna go catch one more fish and that'll knock off one more one more whole item from the progress menu. Okay, look up where the herbs are. And what they are, for that matter. I remember I played a lot in New Austin because of online. So a lot of this is way more familiar than I thought it would be. There's also a few legendary hunts down here somewhere too. The economy is in shambles. I don't think I've uncovered either of those yet. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it. Herb. If I stumble oh upon a new herb, that's fine. I think if I just like look it up and bang them out later, it'll be a lot, a lot more efficient use of time. I'm gonna go catch this fish, and then I'm gonna find a town down here that has a post office or whatever. The economy is in shambles. Do it means poop. It does. Zing. Looks like home. Is this a different berry bush? Nope, just raspberries. Raspberries.
Oh, there we go. Special River Lure. Alright. <clears throat> you fishy, 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 fishy. Looking for a large ultimate uh, legendary largemouth bass. So it's not any of these little guys. These are like perch. I think that's him out there. Oh, that's him. Look at that thing out there. Come on, buddy. Just over here. Come get it. Come get it. It's moving a little bit. Jeez. He's a big boy. <laughs> All right. I got my huge fucking fish and I'll put it on my horse and go mail it in the post office. <laughs> so wrap it up in paper and give it to a mailman. And my horse is pooping. Come on, lady. Alright, let's go to Armadillo. It's like here. Let's follow the tracks. There's a Pokemon. Okay, catch. Directly north. Actually, I need to go on the other. I think I can go around this side of this plateau. I think I kind of see it in the distance. Well done. Got an appetite. We're getting there, ain't we? That's probably it.
we go. There's something new. Ooh, poppy. Onward. Sega! Sega! Going into Armadillo. I gotta go to the post office and mail my really, really, really big fish. I find this hilarious every time. Oh, well, maybe not. There seems to be some sort of dispute happening. trouble oh my oh my if it wasn't for you nope. sir if it wasn't for you whoo, how lucky we are the hero we so require armadillo is indebted to you good though i fear it may be beyond saving i don't know what you made of that but it was a close thing and in light of that and the Sad demise of this settlement. I am resigning my post. Now you will see that I packed my valise, but the accoutrements of my profession remain in my desk. Glad I was able to help you out of that, Sheriff. Said you won't stick around. Well, so long. I must see about a train. He's just walking off. Like, doesn't even have a horse. You want me to buy you a horse, guy? No? Oh, I'm gonna go rob your office, sir. I love this, like, rifling through drawers crap in this game. It's so funny. Just like, I'm going to go through every drawer in this house. All right, that's it. New. New lost it. General Star, Saloon. Is there a post office here? Pearson? Get out of here! Alright. Well, Armadillo does not have a post office, so let's go to Tumbleweed. So that way we can fast travel back when we want to. Way to F over here. Ish. Howdy, mister. Hey, friend. Place is full of cholera. Head in there at your own peril. Well, half the town has died, most of the rest have fled. Still? Sure. A few years ago, it was the Scarlet Fever. Then it was the Desert Plague. Then typhus. <clears throat> now the cholera. Bad business. Some folks say the whole town is cursed. All town's got cholera! Here, you can read for yourself. What a weird guy. Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine, thank you.
Oh, town's got cholera. Just stand there, sent yelling that at the corner. Can you imagine? This dude, get out of. Sickness here. Get your sickness here. But scratcher. Butt scratcher! Butt scratcher! Here's your butt scratcher here! Butt scratcher! 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 I forget I had that. And then the thought came to my mind at the guy barking. And there it is. Butt scratcher! Pretty lousy town doesn't even have a post office. But postman's mu postman must have cholera. Where the sheriff is like out of there. <clears throat> Just keep going west. the other gang hideout is that I need. It's probably like out here somewhere. Farm. I remember doing something there, but I don't remember what. I think there were missions there in Red Dead Online, maybe. some black current a bit. I'm down to like three herbs, I think. Or plants or whatever. Okay, Missy. Yep, two left. Have a good one. Good night, thanks for coming by.
What the heck? Is there just no post office at all down here? How lame. Find that. travel back to Blackwater uh, or actually to Valentine Wow and we'll go talk to Sadie Got fish Mercer is the other gang hideout. office and then nail these last two fish and then we'll talk to Sadie. Here we go again, just carrying a massive, massive bass into, like, just the funniest thing, like, hey guys, I have, uh, just the biggest fish you've ever seen. If you would give me a minute, please. Can you mail it for what me? What needs to go where? What can I do for you? I'll take care of this real quick. What you need to send? There we go. Returned any post office after at least 24 hours. Okay. Thanks for your time. That's fine. Probably use a wash. But. See what Sadie has to say. Uh, 
I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time. Leave me alone! Or what? Ah! What was that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all! You! You! Get out of here! <laughs> John Marston. Hey Sadie, looking it's real sweaty. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> He was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Are you any interest in bounties? Sega! Gone straight. Huh? Sort of. Jiminy Cricket. That was loud. Oh, well, it's legal. I'm usually. Then... Maybe. Come on then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. After the the horse looks huge. What do we do? Rob a bank. With a gun? Nope. With a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on. We got a bit of a ride. I know. All right. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think Join, he please. Chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Not Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounding like him uh, about your bed. No. Come time. What's up, buddy? That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again <laughs> after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. That folk won't be around for long. Hi. Doing good. Yeah, no worries. You lost. Rigged. I actually need to run to the bathroom pretty soon. Like, ads just ran. I should have gone then. No, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. <laughs> Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Good lord. I want to go in there. I love just bursting through the doors. Hi there. Hi. Can I help you, partner? Yeah. I'm looking for a fella. Uh, New Yorker. Name of Nathan Kirk. Never heard of him. We get a lot of New Yorkers. It's a resort town, you see. I'm sure. Try in the Welcome Center. They tend to know most of the visitors there. Thank you. All right. Sometimes it just won't let you walk away. I just wanted to walk away from that conversation because I'm like Not not doing anything Ugh. Hey, I'm here you uh You seen a fella a fella from New York bald guy? Yeah, 
A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. In search of the West. <clears throat> for the government. Uh, sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk. But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a All visit. All right. It's government business. How exciting. <laughs> room one, room two, a room three. Yank. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Hey Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Nice. I know. What's up, Bumps Fun Lobsters? Ah, welcome in. Get back here, you guy. for that mr kirk real fun I, i'm an innocent man but it's all a mistake my wife my wife is a, is a desperate woman how, how are you buried sir none of your business what i am she made me do it she broke me i did quiet now where shall oh. i send the money i ain't been paid yet hold on to it for me Said to steal it on her horse. I put it on my horse, and now in the cutscene, it's on her horse. Make him happy to see I've got a boss. Nailed it. Got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. Of course, I'm interested, Sadie. Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. Where did you take me? All right, let's go talk to this. Lady, you want a carrot, horsey? Hey, hey, easy. Fill your carrot. Okay. Two more herbs. Okay. Any more? 
more wild horses, I will try to catch them, but right now it's just whatever. Doing missions. I'm gonna focus on the white ones before the yellow ones. Most of what I have left is missions and quests. I have a little bit of collection shenanigans left, but that can mostly wait for off stream. visit this person who is has been sending me hunting requests throughout the whole game somehow knew to send them to John instead of Arthur after a while I don't I don't know cool. story continuity issue but whatever it works now I'm going to her house I've seen this house before but I haven't been able to go in said to come call on you. My name's John Marston. I've been sending you the animals for your art. I guess you make clothes or something? Clothes? Oh, no, I don't make clothes, dearie. Come, come. What do you make? I make art, dearie. Art? Not art, but life. Life as art. Ah. Come. Come meet my friends. <laughs> come, come. <laughs> it's downstairs. Come meet the world you helped build. <laughs> this is... Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I forgot. These are awesome. This is... Poke a catch. Quite something. <laughs> it's my life work, dearie. An almighty struggle. <laughs> oh, I love this little fella. He makes me so happy. There's so much life in him, in a way. And look at these three playing poker. Oh, they'll never know who wins because they're all dead. <laughs> Only it doesn't look like it. Sometimes I, I, I make up little funny voices, uh, and I make believe that they're all talking to one another. <laughs> I, I call this guy Percival. I don't know why. Uh, and these two over here, oh, they're prize fighters. Obviously, there isn't any prize, because they're both dead. I tried this with humans once during a, a cholera outbreak. Ah, no. Animals are better. Their fur is so nice and, ah. Oh. Um, yeah. I think, I don't quite know what to say. Oh, I often get that reaction. I'm sure. Oh, here, please take this as a gift. Because after all, we did this together. <laughs> that squirrel is awesome. Both like God now. That's awesome. 
Thanks. <laughs> I should get going. Yeah, well, maybe when you die, somebody I think will once stuff I have, you. Once John has the house, maybe. there's a there's a like yeah, a little mini quest like line this. you can trigger by pl placing the think of that, theory? squirrel on the mantle. No, I never did. Oh. Be well. Hi. Silly. Awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Now. Another bounty poster. I guess that's good. that count legendary fish I'm still waiting for that guy to get back to me hunting requests so it's still not done so let me go Guess Blackwater. Guess I'm right here. I might as well get the bounty poster. I'm right here. <laughs> uh take my horse down these stairs. Yep. It's a little dodgy, but Yeah. Nice. Hey there, friend. How can I help? What hats? So I'm guessing you're a bounty hunter. Posters usually go up on that wall there. Bart Cavanaugh. Well, well. Bart Cavanaugh. He's one of them boys down from Laramie. They say they businessmen chasing up land deals. But I know I hire guns when I see him. Alright, I have to go to the bathroom. Like, I'm desperately. I'll be right back. Fellas. Be right back scene, please. Look out! Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, right, come on, then. <laughs> Did I, did I already beat this guy? Nah. Whoa. Oh, brother. Holy smoke. <laughs> that made short work of me. Sheesh. They took a shot, but the thing is, those people are gonna go back to Call of Duty <laughs> or whatever. Duty means hope it does. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> That's an old clip. <laughs> okay. See, that's like five seasons. Is that a troll? Mayor's got a strange tolerance, but this one's gone too far. He's up north of here, the other side of the mountain.
Okay. Well, that just puts them on the map. I don't need to do it now. I want to go do this one. Good luck with it. Let's go, girl. No, sir. You have good luck with it. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> to Blackwater. Can I? Okay, so I can. Fast travel to Armadillo and Tumbleweed now. Blackwater. Nice. Good, 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 good. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's good. I don't really regret it. I, um... I'm having a good time. I've, and I've, I've seen some stuff in the game this playthrough that I haven't because I am doing the 100%. There's also like a, I think a secret cutscene at the end that you only get when you do 100%, so. Curious about that. I haven't. For Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I'm all like so. bloody. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. Well, like, I didn't watch I the so cutscenes for the, like, Elden Ring oh, endings before I actually ranch? saw them myself. I think I saw maybe the Ronnie oh, one or part of it. I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. So it's like but I usually know what's gonna happen, but I don't like that go watch. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan, <laughs> Mister. I don't go like watch the ending sequence or anything on stuff. It's kind of a joke, I guess. It's one thing to like you know I I which like look at Mr. what that I work for him. He said Elden Beast. I mean, fight is gonna be David. like so i know so what to expect told you is one thing but like watching all the endings would be names, money, different so he can buy a run down farm on account of his lack of farming skills huh <laughs> don't sound too promising when you put it like that <laughs> well how would you put it? <laughs> sorry to waste your time sir i'll sit down i'm sure we can figure something out now of course but i mean like i saw i'm pretty sure i saw ronnie's ending on lack of much evidence you got means stream. repaying the terms won't be too great but if my cousin vouches for you it'll be okay with the bank so i don't mind really? seeing it ahead <laughs> of time either thank you now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I don't even know. It I doesn't understand. take into account the fact that I've earned money. Well, why don't you like, he doesn't even need a loan. He's got, like, and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, 9,000 squatters up there. We've been having so many gold. problems recently. They'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done, and we'll fix up the paperwork. Yeah. I would love to play it more, but I just like, there's so many other games I want to play. I will definitely, like, I, I kind of pop back in and like, swing around with a sword once in a while, but I don't, I haven't like, fully played. Wow!
You don't have shit. Oh, that'd be really cool. I... Hmm. Yeah, I wonder... And uh, I guess it doesn't really... It, it has to be a microphone source through the... through the bot. That'd be interesting. To like uh, do some kind of you could probably use some kind of audio mixer software to combine the game audio with the microphone source and use that as the source for streamer bot could be done for sure and then do voice commands off of it that's funny <clears throat> It'd be a fair amount of work. I'm not sure I have the software for it. But there, I know there's definitely some software out there that'll take two audio sources and combine them into one. Kind of like how, like, Snap Camera creates a new camera source. Ooh, there's some horses over here. I'll tame one. Tennessee Walker, that'll do. Hey, hello. Fine. How about you instead? No, I don't need another Mustang. Okay, catch. What's the big deal? Morgan will do too. Hey there. Any horse will do. Really? Until I haven't caught them yet. Hold it right there. You're okay. You're okay, horsey. You're okay. Okay. What, um... What kind of help do you need? You're okay. Easy now. Of it's over, miss. Good times ahead. 
All right. A talking. Oh, like a, uh, just like a two-frame PNG thing. Um, I'm pretty sure I know how to do that. I think you can do it with the move, the move transition plugin. Um, I can point you to a video. Um, Nutty has a video on how to do that. And I basically, if I were to help you do that, I would go look at his video and figure out how to do it from there and then tell you. Stay, girl. But I think it's with the move transition plugin. Oh, that I don't know. I hope so. Because that's an OBS plugin, so I'm not sure with slobs. This is a free country. It may or may not be possible. So sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid. Afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <laughs> Who's this? Says he owns this land. Oh, he's gone. Owns it. That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Look. Take some money. Go try and find somewhere else to stay. You for real, friends? Sega. <laughs> a real gentleman. Sega. Let's go Thanks, mister. Yeah, no problem. Give me ten bucks to clear off my land. Join, please. Um, I switched, well, when I switched from Streamlabs to OBS, I didn't have a lot of like heavy integrations set up yet so it was like really easy and the biggest thing was like switching the, my bot stuff over that was before I was using streamer bot for everything um you the man with two names and no pants come on in how'd you make out well let's just say there are no more squatters thing is you can run them okay. side by side so like got your paperwork ready now you sure you can leave your setup in streamlabs and start down, moving stuff over to obs i think it would mean a lot for my wife. and um at least me doesn't have to all be done to in one shot okay well like setting it up in obs yeah. isn't gonna break your streamlab setup If you do switch over, look when or when you do switch over, look into um, OBS Portable, which is just a different way of putting the files in a particular folder somewhere else. Um, and it makes it like really, really, really easy to back up as now opposed to the normal Marston, setup. And we own Mr. Milton too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations, you are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm choking, they own me. But yeah, that would be the first, that would be the thing I recommend to anyone setting up OBS Studio for the first time because make, when I switched from a regular setup to, of OBS Either Studio Mr. to Marston, Portable, to it's a beautiful they call thing. it, Let your wife know what to complain there about. was a bunch of stuff I had to fix. <laughs> just joking. And I wish I had just started that way. And now I have my whole my whole OBS folder is just in backed up by Google Drive. Well, I and then I have my streamer I bot folder inside dead, of my OBS dead. folder. Uncle, so it gets same. backed up too. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years. You ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. No, 
I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> Good old uncle. You got a horse? Get on it. Follow me. West. Keep up, Uncle. Now, as I was saying, West, oh, ain't you a man of few words? I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I seem. Well, now, where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, <laughs> I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place, and you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Don't be so mean to Uncle John. Exactly. Did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so... You think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. <laughs> He's just gonna go take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking uncle. Ah. Another John working hard with uncle working watching montage. Post office. Uh, talk to this person first. Whoever that person is. 
That is, um, oh, the author guy. I don't know what he has to do with anything. We shall see. There's a couple more legendary hunts. I don't know. I think maybe that's for just for an achievement, though. I don't even really need them. So I'm trying to hold off. Some of the stuff I don't really need to do, I'm just not going to do. Unless it's missable. And then at some point, I can come back and do some of the achievement stuff, too. Just like Redwoods. That's cool. Happened here. That all? What's that? Something ain't right. <coughs> oh, God damn it. Who's that? What I can't hardly the see. hell? Oh, Jesus. Hey. Get out of Skinners. here. Good thing I got guns Skinners. off my horse. Silver locket necklace. It's close to what I needed. Norwegian newspaper paper scrap. Salted meat. Okay, catch. I'll take those owl feathers. <laughs> Sweet, it's just what I was hoping for. What I want is a silver chain bracelet. counter. There's like a bunch of like corpses leading that way too. Jeez. Check that out. Check that out in a second. This guy's just out here writing. Cowboy. Hello? I, you never told me your name. Jim. No. John. Marston. Which? John Marston. Long story. I'm a writer. I love stories. Ah, <laughs> uh, another time. Guess I'm as big a fraud as you claim to be. I'm trying, John. My wife didn't understand. Doesn't understand. The parish priest has taken to writing me missives about the exact nature of my sins. The parish priest? Can you imagine? Oh, what a petty-minded lot they are. I was attracted by my fraudulent fame. By the idea of me as some kind of provincial seer, oh, it makes me sick. But here, I live like a man. I'm feeble, <laughs> but alive. <laughs> I'm a man. For the first time in my life, I'm a man. Okay. Or, I'm still a coward, but a real man would happily die rather than live as I do. Uh, I don't know about that. We, <laughs> we're all scared of something. Something within us but me i'm nothing but fear fear and doubt and lies 
Just a glimpse of how other men have coped and lived and survived and flourished. There are days when I sit here and weep about all the things that I've lost. We've lost. We true Americans. We peasants. We are killing this place, John Marston. Killing what? This. This great beauty. This truth. What are you talking about? Oh, baby's awake. Come. We gotta stop calling him a baby because he's like two We're and a half. Ready. But prepare to be shocked. He's up. I'll be right back. Pause. Be right back, scene, please. Abandoned dig site. Wait, where are you going? Oh no. I sense the presence of Nab Sal. I should have guessed. <laughs> Indy! Hold on, Sophia. Indy! <laughs> Sophia! Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> stupid. That's stupid. <laughs> Pardon me. Do the thing like this, and then do the thing like this, and then that's fine. I've seen, please. Alright. Yellow liquid. Hmm. <laughs> Who's going to drink the yellow liquid? Accuracy. <laughs> What's up? Platformers. I didn't come here for jumping. Hey there. This guy's Son just... of a harlot. <laughs> Fine, buddy. This guy's just smoking in his room. Call me a son of a harlot. <laughs> Did walk in on his room, so he's Perfectly fine for yelling at me for it. I wish there was like an easier way to get past the skinning. Pretty grizzly on the bears. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> I have a list of 10,000 random magic effects. So that one was number 4754 out of 10,000. Next weapon to wound target vanishes for 1d10 rounds. <laughs> and I guess it would be up to the DM to decide whether or not that means it, it actually disappears or is just I've invisible. Please. Luigi farting. All right, what the hell is this guy gonna show me? Unless you're showing me Bigfoot, you should know. <laughs> I'm not so easily shocked, Mr. Miller. But you will be. Wait until you see the waste, the boundless appetites of these men. I know you will be horribly shocked because I see that frontier spirit in you. The self-reliance, the harmony with nature that us 
us modern men have so lamentably lost. Uh, I hate to spoil your impression of me, but I've been known to eat from a can just as often as from my gut. I hope you do. No? Oh no. Yeah. Up there. Go to, go to bed, the bud. Poor creature is caught in a bear trap. John, Whoops. can you do something? Uh, let me see. Yeah, where? Cruelty of it. If you could pry it open, it may recover. Stay calm. Let me try and get you out of this. Those contraptions. They are unforgiving and indiscriminate. You did it. It's free. Now he's going to kick me. Life. Maybe. As long as that wound don't go bad. Still, better to die Good night, Hacksaw. Now, come on. We have further to ride. I do not. I don't think I did these quests. Come on. In my Man, first like playthrough, don't think I've ever seen this. Hunters? I've seen hunters, sir, and like I said, I've been one myself. Hunting for food or skins is one thing, but dredging rivers, burning out forests, killing everything you find, and leaving all but the most valuable parts to rot. That is who these men are. They are the rapaciousness of our financial markets let loose in the wilderness. A sign that our way of life has come to an end. I see plenty of those signs. You men are heathens, ignoble savages, animals. Shit! Look! <laughs> look at what you're from. You, you, you. Hi! Huh? Clarity, John. <laughs> this, this place, this is heaven and hell. The duality. I think you got hit on the head. Come on, let's get you out of here before more of them show up. But I think we've made our point. Now, come on, let's go. What a weird quest. I don't... I don't know. I imagine that's coming back to me. Let's see, Ansel. That guy's name is Evelyn. Go talk to Uncle. Can I fast travel to Peter's Hope now? I would hope so. No pun intended, I guess. Yeah, nice. build a house.
Good girl. There's a girl. You'll be okay. We're getting there, ain't we? Uncle's just sleeping. There we go. Working hard. It's the lumbago. I am. I overdo it's it. It's the I, I get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. You can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town. And, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. This, I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Well, thanks for the fast travel. Cutscene. Right. Here we are. Come on, let's get off. Alright. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. Alright. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons, you take the slope. Uh, how about I take the saloons, and you take the slums? Um, I want to go to the fence anyway, so let's go there. still has all the crap that Arthur had as far as like pelts and crap oh, we all been there huh quality hide makes the hardiest clothes around don't doubt it I have all of these except for horsemen and today sir listen you seen a big indian fella ah indian yeah a boxer no nope. sorry mister no nope. actually yes 
He, I think, is fighting, I believe. Fighting uh, behind Saint Saturnine. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Saint no Saturnine. Alright. Oh, wait. I want to talk to you about regular fence guy stuff. Hi. Uh, got anything I for me? I think they might be starting soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you craft anything for me? Yeah, I need that silver chain bracelet. I just don't have one. I would head along that way. Saint Saturnine. Saint Saturnine. Okay. Z, we will go to Saint Saturnine. And there we will find Charles. Ah! Horse, and then After these okay, north. messages, we'll be right back. Do -do -do. Oh, sonic ring sound. Join, please. Some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of, just. I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. Then you like that? Of course not. So. So. I'm gonna go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Ladies sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you. An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an engine Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crime. Like this looks child. like the same NPC that was yelling about cholera in uh, you win by Tumbleweed. You win by or whatever it's called. Or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. But you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. So it goes. Here's your share, partner. Nailed it. We 
just made the bed I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns of room. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. <laughs> He's going to the bar. This way. Ugly business here. Uh, my bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel and some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Hey. Anyway. I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kinds of Walking things, through this town sucks. One thing I know, There's so many NPCs and they just here. like walk right out in front of you every time. Real in years wow. Well, wow. That wow. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sissica. They picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. If it wasn't for... We were on a very bad path. And Micah Bell dragged us into the abyss. Okay. Uh, Freaking Micah. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He... Uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey! Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> That marker, we please. Get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in. We won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. The guy like did two somersaults tangled up in the wheel. Great. 
I think we're clear. Nice. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. John Charles! <laughs> <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Thanks, Flarebot. Kind of. Dirty means poop. It does. <laughs> well, it, it weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> There's a new Sadie mission now, too. More bounty, uh, bounty action, I imagine. <clears throat> Good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired $2 whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. Okay, catch. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? <laughs> it's awful. It's a dumb. What's going on with his hair? House? Jesus. Gotta go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house that <laughs> a lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Nice. See? I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fellow by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. <laughs> nice. Mm hmm. Guess we could do that bounty. There anywhere fast travel that's close? I guess I can... strawberries most of the way there. Okay. 
can I fast travel out of Peacher's Hope? That's John. Like, from this thing. Yeah. Nice. See if the mail came in about the fish. Post office first, and then we'll see. Hey there, come on over. I got something here that might be of interest. Bounty. Here for you when you're ready. Hmm. All right. Check back later. Okay. Bounty hunting. Put yourself. Okay. I don't know what it takes to finish that off. I wonder if the uh, progress counted though for all the fish. Nope. I'm at 91% though. I think this bounty is like totally optional, but I think doing all the bounties might be an achievement or something. Maybe not. I'm doing it anyway. <clears throat> There's one more gang hat hideout I need. I think it's Fort Mercer. Or wherever it is. pretty tired, so I'm going to call it pretty soon, I think, maybe after this bounty.
Easy now. Was him. Oh well. You just relax. I might be some time. Really go to plan, but whatever. That was easy. Won't get as much for it, but I'll still finish the bounty. Why now? Don't need the money, that's a, for damn sure. That squirrel. Sheriff. Is that Cavanaugh? It is. He ain't waking up, neither. All right. Put him down around the side of the building. I'll get your pay. <laughs> it's all there for you. You causing trouble? They're a troublesome bunch, these boys from Laramie. Honest of you. Won't be any more bounty posters up on this wall. Makes the visitors nervous, I'm told. 
Alright, thanks for telling me. Fort Wallace? No, it's Fort Mercer, and it's like... Somewhere else. Down here. Sadie, okay. Let's see, what's next? Sadie... There... Breaking the horses, I got the fish done. The rest of the dinosaur bones, the rest of the herbs. Hmm. Legendary prop horn. For a trinket that I don't need now that I'm done pretty much hunting for the game. What else? Mrs. Hobbs thing, okay. Yeah, there's not that much left. Poke catch. Breaking the horses is going to be the grindiest part, I think. <laughs> Maybe not. Let me warp back to, um, feed yourself, and I'll save there. Doggo. Alrighty. I am tired and little guy has been up once at least already. I'm going to take it easy. Gotta drive a bunch on Thursday. Um I'm planning on streaming both Sunday and Monday next week, but um I'm driving back um Sunday during the day, so I may be tired. Um, so Sunday is iffy. Monday is almost definitely on. I'm gonna try to do a lot of the, um, a lot of the remaining, uh, grindy stuff. I don't know, I guess I'm only here tomorrow night as far as gaming, so... Mmm, we'll see. We'll be continued next week. And, uh, we're gonna go ahead and raid Deputy Doggo. And, uh, go to bed. I hope everybody has a good night. Thank you for the raids, a couple resubs, channel point nonsense as usual. Have a good one everybody, see you on the other side.